God damn, that's pretty. Hey guys, this is my review for Blade Runner 2049, a film that I have admittedly been anticipating with both caution as well as extreme excitement. But with such a stellar team behind this film, the original writers of the first film, Roger Deakins behind the camera, and Denis Villeneuve with the director's chair, and Harrison Ford returning as Deckard as well as Ryan Gosling pulling off one of his best performances he's done in a long time in terms of film. I This is one of his best performances in terms of the scale of this film. The film is literally about Ryan Gosling's character, who is a Blade Runner, uncovering a mystery, a secret, a world-blowing exploit that threatens basically the means in how the world sees replicants. And that's all I'm gonna say, because anything else would just spoil this movie. It is two hours and 44 minutes long, you will feel the length, but you will be amazed by how good this movie looks. Roger Deakins kills it with every single scene. Every single shot of this movie is a masterpiece, an art form of amazing filmmaking. And you'll love it. You'll just love to watch this movie because of how well it's shot. But again, going back to that time frame, now a lot of people, that's probably the biggest complaint that I've heard is that this film goes on for quite some time, and admittedly it does, but if you watch the first one, the first one also takes its time. Admittedly it's shorter than this film, but there's a lot of shots where it just it's just pacing itself, it's taking its time. This film, it takes its time, it does pace itself. Admittedly, there's maybe like a few moments I think that could have been shaved off, but I actually enjoy its length because it doesn't... It's not spoon-feeding you, but it's letting you soak in the universe. It's letting you soak in the world building, the story, the elements, the characters. And I like that it does that. That's a bold thing to do, especially with a film that had so much money into it, had Sony behind it, had Warner Brothers behind it. I'm amazed that the length was able to stay in. Villeneuve probably had to fight hard for that. And I appreciate that this film has such care and such precision put into it. Admittedly, there's more action in the first one, in my opinion. I think there's more action that happened in the first one. There are some cool scenes that happen in this one, but it's much more of an investigative into the characters and much more just the world building. The world building takes forefront a lot of the times in this film. There's a lot of elements that are kind of defining the idea of relationships between replicants and sentient AI. The idea of replicants and replicants. And it just goes on and on and deeper and deeper. And what you didn't think they could go any deeper into or explore any more in the original film, they go even further into this one. And as I said, the world building aspect of this film is absolutely incredible. Villeneuve takes the universe that we were given in the first film and just delves into it. The idea of snow in Los Angeles is so mind-blowing. The idea that there are streets that are just... There's no streets. It, there's land that is just warehouses so tightly packed together that even flying above, you can barely see in between them where the road goes through them. The idea of San Diego being basically America's West Coast garbage dump was actually kind of a... A kind of a funny idea considering what people some people think of San Diego, but I can say that I was thoroughly fixed into this film. If I were to watch it again, I admit I would feel the length far, far more. I would probably be a little bit antsy, but I still really enjoyed this film. I think that aside from the length, there are some questions that will be left unanswered. For a movie that's got two hours and 44 minutes in it, it still leaves a few questions unanswered, especially the one that a lot of people have had since the first movie. It doesn't answer that shit, and I like it as well as got a little bit aggravated because of that at the same time. But as I said, I enjoyed this movie immensely. It was really, really cool to watch. It's not for everyone. It's definitely for fans of the first film for sure, but like really big fans, and you can't just say, yeah, yeah, I like Blade Runner. You have to be a fan to both understand it as well as truly appreciate it, in my opinion, because if you kind of go into this movie green, or just an avid, just kind of a regular film goer, 
you're gonna kind of be admittedly you will be bored probably there will be parts that you'll just be like well, well, nothing's going on and I can understand that I totally would understand people having that thought process of it this is definitely a film that doesn't cater to the regular audience as much as it does to the fans of the original film and that's ballsy to go for a hundred and thirty million dollar budget of a sequel to a film that flopped at the box office but is held as a cult classic and one of the best sci-fi films of all time yeah that took some balls I'll admit that that took some balls to do Ryan Gosling's character is a interesting look into this sort of the setting and just how a person revolves through the events that he goes through. I, I can't say what happens to him because I'll spoil it, but he really emulates what's happening to his character on screen amazingly well and he really puts you in his shoes and he avidly puts you there in the emotions and the pain and the confusion he is feeling. Harrison Ford, he actually looks like he cares. He actually looks like he cared in this time. Like, I was impressed. I thought, wow. But in the end, as I said, this is a film that's not for everyone. I enjoyed it because I'm a big Blade Runner fan, but again, I can understand how regular filmgoers are just people who are kind of just an average fan of the original would be a little bit bored and a little bit kind of like, well, what's all the hype for? But in the end, I will give Blade Runner 2049 a 6 out of 7. This film is an absolute gorgeous treat to watch. Villeneuve was the only director I would have trusted to have taken this project on, and he he met my expectations. He didn't exceed them, but he did well with what he had and what he was basically up against such a juggernaut of sci-fi filmmaking. In the end, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm really interested in what other people are thinking of this film because I have seen there's a big divisive sort of split between people about the thoughts of this. People have said that it's better than the original. Other people say it's overrated as hell. I can see both arguments being, you know, well contested. I still think the original is better, but this is really bloody close. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this review. See you guys next time.